Okay. How's it going? I uh, was going to attempt to make a video here of what I've discovered lately or stumbled onto or whatever you want to call it. Um, yeah, here I go. Basically, what I start off with is a piece of copper and a piece of magnesium. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put just a small link of copper. Decent length of magnesium. All right. Now, be careful when you do all this. Um, magnesium is very, very, very bright and uh, goes up pretty easily if you follow this method. But what I'm actually after is the ash from the magnesium. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fray the end of the magnesium. the excess right here like this and then what I've been doing is taking one alligator clip which I attached to this bottle cap inside here and I put it in there and then I take my piece of copper and my piece of magnesium and I will put them together just close to each other and then put them inside this other clip here. Now, technically you really don't need to do any of this, but I'm just kind of showing the process of how I came up or how this happened. So what I was trying to do was use this, this container here to burn the magnesium inside to cover the these two pieces with um, carbon basically so I could uh, see if it builds a, a nanotube structure or something whenever the smoke hits it so um, I've been putting these inside not super close together but you don't have much choice you know you don't want the the one you don't want the magnesium with the copper in it to catch on fire too. Okay, so then what I've been doing is I'll go ahead and light up this magnesium. Put the lid on, step back. Let it all kind of burn up, <coughs> voila. Now, usually I let it sit for a little bit longer to let all the smoke particles kind of settle onto the, the, the anode and the cathode. But for these purposes, I'll just take it off here and you can see there was plenty of smoke in there. Okay, now I don't know if this will show it very well, but there is a small layer of smoke particles that have attached to the two, the, the magnesium and the copper. Okay, so I take them out of the alligator clip and I'll take my probes here like this and like this and then it's it's kind of strange because I've been getting a lot of different results but if I put them together just barely touching or barely together I get a I get a reading of some sort now I've had all sorts of different readings and so what I did was I just stopped there from making the nanotubes and I went directly to using the ash from the magnesium as you could see it's just white ash 
and Elmer's school glue. I put a piece of tape like this. Sprinkle some magnesium ash onto it. Make sure it's all nice and ashy on there. And I've made a couple of these batteries now where it's just uh, where it's just the magnesium ash, pretty low voltage. So I add a drop of Elmer's glue to it. And then mix it all up, all nice and mixed it. Add some more ash. Now this is just a, this is just the ash from the magnesium burn you just saw me do. I mean it's from a previous burn, but you get the point. Okay, and then what I'll do is I'll put a piece of copper on the inside, and a piece of magnesium on the other side. And I'll close it up, trying not to let the two short out by touching each other on the inside. I think you understand what I mean. Okay. Sorry, this is a very ugly battery, but you get the idea. Um, after that, let's go ahead and take a reading. And as you can see, it does, it's decent, right? What's really cool is the amperage set it to 0.5 milliamps is easily put in, easily reads. Place. Sorry. As you can see, about five point. No, no, no. It's about point three milliamps. Okay, so now that's because everything inside of it is wet from the glue, right? All right. Here are a couple of batteries I have previously made and allowed to dry. Um, different types and different ways and stuff like that. Let's see what we get. Not so much on that one. Voltage isn't very bad. It is something. Anyway, you get the idea. This is what I've been messing with, and I just have been trying to get a peer group to do these experiments with me so that I can figure out what I've got and what I should expect from these experiments and in different ways. Kind of stumbled onto this by accident, trying to do a, um, trying just to trying just to uh, make nanotubes, really. So, I don't know. Something for you guys to play with. Uh, 
they might die, they might not. I don't know. I haven't done any long-term tests with it. But, I mean, <clears throat> as you can see, the ones that I made just now is doing just fine. So, something for you guys to play with. Thank you very much. Have a great night.